Hello everyone, it's Vicky here today designing for Pink Fresh Studio and I am using today some of the um, Sunday's collection, the Shaker Hearts die and the Curvy Leaves die. So um, I'm starting out, I'm going to cut two of each of these four papers that I've chosen on the Shaker Hearts die, the large die. So two of the floral there, two of the pink, and then I've got two other papers there, which you will see, and we'll skip through this so you don't have to watch, but I'm just die cutting them singly, collecting them up there. There you go, there I have eight hearts, and I'm going to fold those in half. My idea is to make a big flower, and I've seen people make flowers from hearts before, but I wanted to make this the focus of my page. So, um, I'm going to take the manufacturer's strip off of my piece of cardstock here because I want to find the centre of it because I want to find the place where my heart is, uh, my flower is going to be. And actually, I don't think it turns out to be quite centre. I think I'm slightly off centre, but um, that's okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to stick down one side of each heart. So you'll see I line it up with the previous heart and then just stick the one side. And what this does is it... Um, allows the flower to be very 3D on there and um, that that pink one there should actually be um, level up you know um, the opposite of the one above so I got slightly off track there but um, but I think it looks okay I put some glue on the wrong side of that one momentarily <laughs> there we go so I'm just going to move that flower at the top so it's a bit more symmetrical there we go so I have the flower done and what I want to do is um, choose I want to do these photos and I have a strip that um, and I think I might try to make it work but it doesn't work so I cut that strip into three so they're very similar photos they're just a series and I'm going to tuck them into the petals of the flower like you see there then I pull out these um, dies which are the curvy leaves and who doesn't love some leaves on their layout so I'm going to cut this piece of cardstock that I have in a greeny colour which matches the kit quite well and I'm going to cut leaves from that whole strip so again you don't have to watch the whole process but um, that's what I do these dies cut beautifully I mean those little inner pieces on the leaves just popped out no problem at all so um, yeah very good quality dies from Pink Fresh Studio so I'm going to arrange those around my flower, sort of like that. I'm just sort of experimenting at the moment to see what I like and how it looks. And I'm going to do my title with those alphas there. So what I do here is I get a plate to draw a circle around. And it's hard because I can't see the centre of the flower when I put the plate over it. And I realise, that's when I realise my flower isn't actually quite central. And um, I just have to eyeball it a bit. And I see in a second when I turn it that the flower is not actually off to the left slightly. So I put the plate off to the left slightly and then that works perfectly. Now I'll come back to that circle in a minute. I just wanted to get it on before I stick anything down here and it gets in the way. And I'm going to put my photos onto some tissue paper. This is just tissue paper I saved from some packing. Um, some packaging when I bought something it's not I haven't bought it specifically but I like that it just gives a bit of separation for the photo and I didn't want to put anything heavy because it's going between those petals I didn't want to take away from the flower okay so I'm just going to tuck those in just like pretty much like that and I think that looks nice okay and I almost stick them down and then I think, no, nope, I'm going to do some mixed media first. So what I'm going to do here is just water down some white acrylic paint and do some splatters across the flower. Like that. It's very subtle on the finished layout, but it just gives that um, sort of um, shabby look to the, to the flower afterwards. And then this ink that I've got here is called summer shower it's pink fresh ink I just dabbed it onto my plastic um, plastic there and then um, mixed it with a bit of water and used it to make some splatters I'm just gonna 
go over with my paper towel there just to soak some of that up so it's very subtle effect from the mixed media and now I'm going to stick down the photos and I just like the way that they're tucking tucked in there and sticking out it just sort of still gives the flower a floral appearance without hiding much of it so here we go I've got the um, the curvy leaves here that I cut earlier and I'm going to tuck those in onto the flower sort of following almost following the curve of the hearts then we're going to stick these little pieces down as well what better to have than leaves with your flowers <laughs> okay so now I'm going to think start thinking about my title I think yep and I'm going to use these alphas, which are also in the Sunday's collection. And my title's going to be Garden Playtime Fun. So um, obviously that doesn't fill the whole circle, but I just wanted to start with playtime there. Um, that's the longest word. And then I, I will put garden in and fun in. So um, it's sort of, it's not central to the top. It's slightly off, but that was intentional. And I'm just using that line to guide where my al alphas will go. So the line is at the center of each letter. There we go. And then off camera, I'm going to, in a minute, <laughs> no, well, let's, um, let's go back to this first. I'm gonna pick out some florals here. I have about three packs of florals mixed in there because I, um, <laughs> I've had them with various different kits and, and I've had some for doing a class so I've got lots of them so um, that's why it looks like I've got so many there we go so off camera I did some stitching and I just stitched a circle all the way around through the title and all the way around my line and there's a couple of areas where it's a little bit off circle and so I think here about trying to cover those imperfections up um, so I'm sort of playing a little bit with what I've got and in the end I decide not to do it and to just go with the imperfection of the circle because I can't make anything look right. So, um, so yeah, that's what I do. I'll take those off, but I do use those florals and the leaves and, um, use them for the overall design as well. So I'm just tucking them in around the photos and sticking them down. And everything's only ever stuck at the inside, um, so just so that it gives it dimension and it can move around and, and stick up and just look really three-dimensional. And I've sort of gone mostly with the blues and greens, although, of course, there's a bit of pink and a bit of yellow on this as well. So I add in some yellow flowers, but I decide not to add any more pink into it. Um, I just, I like that it's sort of greens and blues. It feels very gardeny. Just sticking these flowers down, cutting a couple out of larger clusters of flowers because I want the yellow ones specifically. There we go. And I think I'm... This is where I try again to cover the imperfections on my circle and um, it still doesn't work. <laughs> I just have to learn to live with the imperfection, right? There we go. So I think that's it. I think we are there. Off camera, I did add um, some gold splatters. I'm just adding some enamel dots there. I added some gold splatters to it as well, just to add a little bit of extra shine to it. But um, but yes, that's the final layout. I do hope you enjoyed it. I hope it's given you some inspiration for using your dies on a layout. Um, please do feel free to let me know if you have any questions and I'll link up all the products that I used below. Thank you so much for watching. This has been Vicky for Pinkfresh Studio. Until next time, bye-bye.